Hey you guys, it's Abdelli here, and today I'm bringing you a few matches of Turf War. The new map, Flounder Heights, actually came out about a couple days ago, but I've been playing around with it in um, uh, Turf War and um, the new Rainmaker, which has been great. I've been loving Rainmaker, I'm going to have another video about that, but right now it's not in the rotation, so I'm unable to record it right now, so I'll check back tomorrow and see what happens. But right now I'm going to do a little bit of Turf War for Flounder Heights. And I want to show you the gear that I've been wearing because lately I've been wearing the same gear over and over again with the general like um, my special glasses a little bit longer, more damage up with the the, clo the jacket I'm wearing right now, um, the shoes, I've mainly kept the same shoes throughout my whole time playing. Once, once I was able to buy these shoes, stealth shoes, I've been, I've stuck with them. I love that it doesn't show your position and I know it slows down your time in battle but there's times where you really need to jump into the thick of things and not showing showing where you're showing where you're going to land really does help your opponent you can spot right away it completely de kills any chance of you coming back and for that reason that's why I think uh, stealth jump I believe it's called what is it? uh, yeah stealth jump um I believe it's good just because of that fact. Um, a lot of people uh, don't like uh, super jumping, and a lot of people think that it's a bad idea. But I think it's great, and it's a quick way to get right back into battle. And especially with stealth jump, where they don't see you land, if you can land, kind of spray out your paint and not get flanked or anything like that, you're pretty safe. But um, right now I've been changing my clothes. I've noticed that I've always had the same type of clothing, but I always change my weapon. And what I realized is that I need to have my clothes work towards my weapon. So in a way, you need to have certain pieces of uh, gear, so certain um, suits, so your, your, your headgear, your clothing, your shoes. It all needs to be geared towards your weapon. So say with the Tentatech, right now I've been using um, this jungle hat that uses an ink sa uh, saver as a main. It has ink um, saver subs, so it helps out with um, me using the, well, let's see. I never remember the names of this, the sub weapon for, for the suction bomb. So it's great uh, saving ink that way. And as you can see with the shoes, I also have um, ink saver on these. And I want to change my um, jacket. I've seen this really nice jacket. Um, it looks like a school suit, like a, like a girls' school suit, or I think I think I've seen boys, but it has um one of the mains, which is oh my goodness, I don't remember. It's ink recovery up. It increases ink tank refill rates while submerged in squid form. Yes, there's a there's a jacket that looks like a school uniform that its main is that, and but you can only get it through access of an amiibo. So right now I need to find the amiibo because they're always sold out, but. Hopefully I have better luck on that, but what I'm trying to say is that you need to have your, I guess I'm learning is that you need to have your gear, um, geared towards your weapon. Like it needs to be based on your weapon. So if your weapon uses a lot of ink or, or if, if or if your weapon depends on your special, you may want to get a, you may want to get, um, to change up your clothing to work towards your weapon. Because now that I'm using the tent attack, it helps having the extra, decreases good uh it doesn't i don't use so much ink when i shoot and i don't use so much ink when i throw suction bombs and right now i want to be able to submerge in ink and refill faster and i think gearing towards this gun i find myself with this gun winning a lot of matches and i 
don't even use my special a lot, and sometimes I forget to use my suction bombs. It's even though I, I do use them and um, I try to use them frequently, I forget sometimes. It's like just using the gun and with the the range. Let's see the range on this. The range and the damage and the fire rate are just so good that I don't find myself needing to use the suction bombs or the inkzuka. And I, to me, I think that's a powerful weapon where you don't even need to use. Your special and your, when you use your special, it's great. It's it's a great way to knock down a bunch of your opponents. It's, it's shooting out gigantic flying paint tornadoes is a great way to kill your opponents. So right now I'm using this gear towards my tentatech weapon, and I'm looking to buy new gear and I'm looking to reroll some other gear. So I've been talking a lot. So let's jump into the next the the match. I'm gonna be playing a few rounds of um. Flounder Heights, and just like I said earlier, it came out on Thursday. I've been playing it. I've been playing it with um with Splat Zones, with Tower Control, and with um the new Rainmaker mode, and they've been great. I love this map through all the because you can paint up the walls, you can jump down the walls. You, a lot of the times, the map kind of constricts you to what you can and cannot do. Like you can paint this wall, but you can't paint the, the other wall. But this, it's like. Anything goes, there's very few walls which you can't ink and climb up, very little, like close to the base, but even then you can still go around, there's a little narrow kind of area that can get in there, but I'm going to show you guys and hopefully I can pull off a few wins. Let's go. Alright, so the first match of the day and we got Flounder Heights right away, I'm excited and I'm happy, and it looks like we got the pink paint and they have the yellow paint. I was kind of hoping that we are going to see the matchup with the Transformers and um... What it was it? Autobots versus Decepticons, and I picked uh, Autobots, so it's a lot of fun. So one thing I love doing about this is just jumping right down, kind of spraying a nice line. And one thing you're gonna have to look out for is that you're going to see seeing opponents kind of sneak up over there. There you go. Okay, let's not let's grab up here. Ah, why can't I get you? There we go. It's turf war, Adela. I gotta... I find myself always wanting to kill people. But I gotta remember... Let's get him off of there. Come on. Oh, there he goes down there. Okay, I gotta look behind me. Alright, so let's... Get painting down. Ooh! Got me there. But you see where I'm going, you can paint the walls all over the place. And always, it's called Flounder Heights for a reason. So you always want to stay above, like above ground, like very high. Because it's, it's the higher you are, the better advantage you have. So you want to you wanna make sure you can stay high. And you also want to paint, because this is Turf Wars. And sometimes I play a lot of uh, rank battles, so it's very hard to... Uh, kind of get back in the position of things. See they did? Oh. Gotcha. There we go. Keep the height. Clear this all up. We're doing pretty good right now. We're wrecking. You always want to say hi. And there's another little neat little trick I found out. If I can jump up, let's see if I can pull this off here. But if you jump, there we go. Why'd I jump down there? There we go. Take him out. Uh, let's get out of here before that sniper comes back. Oh, come on, let's go. Let's get back up here. Ugh, come on! Stop choking, Abdella! Let's get this. We're doing great right now. There we go. Is that a bomb? That's our bomb, okay. I'm gonna come down in here. He got him. Whoa! Don't forget to take your kill out, yo! Alright, so I'm gonna kinda... Oops. There we go. Kill two of them. Clear this up. Get up here. Clear this up. And... We gotta win there, very quickly. So I always stay at the top. 
and I only ever want to get to the bottom of the map when I'm close to the opponent's, um, their side, because there's no way of, to get up any higher. They kind of have the advantage around their base, because it gives them a chance to come back, and when you have higher ground, you're able to win. So look at that, we got seven kills, only died once, and... I didn't think I used my suction bombs that much. I think I used them a few times when I needed them. But they ended up not really getting the kill. Let's jump to the next battle. Alright, it's time for match number two. And we're getting very lucky. We're getting Flounder Heights again. But what I was saying earlier is that keep high on this map. Get to have the, the higher ground. It's always good, you know. It's good to have. And I can't remember what else I was going to say. Unfortunately. I have... I got to stop smoke. Stop, uh, gonna get more sleep, I should say. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Alright, so let's get up here. Let's get rid of him. Oh, come on. Ah. There we go. Kill him. Is there another person coming? Dude! Ah! What the heck? Alright, Blaster. He really came back for the revenge killer. But, I was able to distract distract him a bit, so we're able to take all, take over a lot of uh, turf right now. And... I gotta remember to paint. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Okay, let's get over here. You take that. You never want to follow your teammates. It's... It just wastes more time, and... Oh, what was that? There's something sinister going on down there. Come on. Ugh. No! What?! What the heck, man? What's your grudge against me? Alright, so... It's... That was kind of pointless to come into our base. Don't waste your time! When there's still a minute and 20 seconds left, you paint your opponent's base. It's it's a waste. It's, you want to do that during the last kind of moment of the battle. Okay, let's... What was that? Is that blue? The, is that blue? Okay. It is blue! Okay, did I see someone down there? I did not mean to do that. But I got my special, so I'm not too worried, but I gotta make sure I do not die right now. I've been doing pretty good. I don't even think I remember using my weapons yet. Ooh! Ooh! Oh my goodness! Okay, there we go. Good job, boys! No! Get out! Get out! Okay, we're out of ink here. Let's just get out of there. Run up this wall again. Come on! There we go. Flounder Heights! Come on! There we go. I love the range on this weapon. It's beautiful weapon. So beautiful. And that's game. That's another win. And a lot of times in Turf War, I forget that it's painting. You gotta paint the floors. And a lot of times I'm just killing and killing. And I remember this one match where I kept killing the opponents near the middle of the map. And we ended up losing. And I, I realized that I did not help my team turf at all. And they were able to get flanked and push back more. And then I ended up dying because there was too much of the other team's pain. I mean, you can't go wrong with suction, uh, suction uh, bombs and um, the ink zooka. So thanks for watching. My Twitter is down below. If you like the song of the theme song, it's he's a he's an awesome uh, creator. Um, I leave his link in any videos that I use, so just check him out in the links below. My Twitter's down there if you want to subscribe. It's all down there. So if you want to watch more, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. Yeah, it's a hallelujah when I rule, when I rule, and I feel the melody, you better give.